Are you in the process of crafting your CV? While there's no one-size-fits-all approach, I'm here today to offer you valuable insights on how to elevate your CV to excellence and distinguish yourself in the competitive job market. The initial step entails crafting a distinctive profile, a pivotal element positioned at the CV's outset. This profile serves as a succinct showcase of your fundamental skills, expertise and experience. Consider it as your greatest hits competition, with the subsequent sections of your CV forming your comprehensive discography. Keep in mind that this profile should be adaptable, tailoring its content to align with specific requirements and attributes sought by the prospective employer. Aim to strike a balance with your profile, ideally spanning about five or six sentences. Keep it concise to demonstrate effort without veering into excessive detail. As a guideline, your opening sentence should succinctly introduce your identity, educational background and personal expertise. Subsequent sentences ought to artfully portray your relevant experiences and competencies, substantiating your suitability for the position. Conclude your profile with a compelling call to action, articulating the specific role you aspire to secure and the underlying motivations driving your pursuit. Typically, the second step in crafting your CV involves detailing your educational background. However, as you progress in your career, the emphasis may shift towards highlighting your professional experience. In the case of recent graduates, or those who've been to field experience, prioritising your education is often a preferred approach. Commencing with your most recent educational achievement, it's essential to methodically document your degree, including the institution where you earned it, along with the precise start and end dates of your educational journey. Additionally, take care to highlight any positive coursework you do to closely align with the role you're pursuing. Don't forget to showcase any other personal engagement in your time in academia, such as memberships in relevant societies or your contributions to faculty-related volunteer activities. It's your goal to comprehensively enumerate all qualifications you've earned during your high school education. Now, let's delve into the optional yet valuable key skills section. This section is particularly advantageous when your professional experience is somewhat limited. Conversely, if your work history is robust, you may choose to forego this section. In the key skills segment, aim to enumerate no more than five or six soft skills, which can span a spectrum from effective communication to in-depth teamwork and adaptability. What sets a standout CV apart is the ability to substantiate these skills. Remember, employers seek evidence, not just assertions. After each skill, provide concrete examples of where, when and how you've acquired, honed and demonstrated this capability. For instance, demonstrated excellent communication skills throughout an extensive career in customer service. By substantiating your skills, you convey your capacity to apply what you claim, enhancing the credibility of your transferable competencies. Moving on to the hard skills section, this segment focuses on your technical proficiencies and industry-specific aptitudes. It encompasses a range of competencies, including programming languages, software proficiencies, laboratory skills, and more. Unlike the key skills section, these technical skills can be presented in a straightforward list format, typically without the need for accompanying evidence. Following these sections, we arrive at a critical component, your work experience. Regrettably, the significance of work experience in the pursuit of a graduate position is often underestimated. Even if your professional history primarily consists of part-time roles, these experiences can be highly relevant for showcasing your soft skills. To ensure a comprehensive representation of your background, be sure to include essential details such as your job title, the name of the company, its location, and the precise time frame of your employment, specifying both the start and end dates. Following this, you'll delve into the crux of your work experience section. Here, craft a compelling narrative with a well-structured array of four to six bullet points, meticulously outlining both your responsibilities and noteworthy achievements within each role. This should encompass what you did, the calibre of your performance, the skills you adeptly demonstrated and any tangible impact or accomplishment stemming from your contributions. For instance, provided exceptional customer service to restaurant patrons, ensuring swift order processing and attentive care, resulting in elevated satisfaction levels and markedly positive customer experience. Moreover, if you can substantiate your accomplishments with quantifiable metrics or percentages, it can significantly enhance the credibility of your achievements. For instance, optimise the social media platform yielding a 30% surge in web traffic. Importantly, don't restrict your work experience section solely to part-time positions. Include any volunteering endeavours or internships you've actively pursued, as they hold equal weight in demonstrating your valuable skills and dedication. Finally, we arrive at the interest and hobby section, which serves as the personal touch to your CV, allowing your unique character to shine through the paper. This section humanises you and provides insight into your personality. Moreover, it presents an avenue to highlight additional skills that may be pertinent to your career. Within this section, don't hesitate to showcase a diverse range of interests, both those directly linked to your chosen profession and those that offer a broader glimpse into your life. 
such as sports, artistic pursuits or travel. This diversity can forge unexpected connections with the hiring manager, potentially tipping the scales between securing an interview or receiving a rejection. Never underestimate the power of shared hobbies or interests in forging meaningful connections. Here is a list of elements that should be omitted from your CV. A photograph, your date of birth, your nationality, your ethnicity, your sexual orientation, your disability status, your marital status, your parents' names, your full address, and references without obtained written consent. In summary, that encapsulates the art of crafting a CV. It's crucial to emphasise that there is no universal blueprint, and my recommendations are but one of various collective approaches. Keep in mind that your CV's ideal form may vary depending on the industry you're targeting. A CV in a STEM-related field might lean towards technical prowess, while one in the arts may spotlight your creative attributes. Thank you for watching and good luck.